Hello SGD, uh, this is something I did quite a while ago. So this is in regards to making vases and hollowing out the interior. Uh, Olga over at the Scientists Against Myth channel, she's been making vases and the criticism is, well, it takes too long. They work, but it takes too long. In her defense, she works alone. She makes her own tools. She's, exper she's on a steep learning curve coming from nothing. And most importantly, she uses the most primitive of primitive techniques. So she's handicapped herself in every level. So experiment I started a while ago and then the event happened and then we had uh, lockdowns and um, even curfews here in Australia. So I'll put that on the back burner. I will be returning to that. And so this is, the question is, can we hollow out vases? Can we do it faster using only the primitive techniques and primitive materials that are there to be found and uh, this is proof of concept experiment one how to hollow out vases very I just split the copper tube and I flared them out okay so there's a shot of the inside now you can see maybe there in the video but instead of it going directly down I've also I've already started to hollow it out so you might be you know, this was my first experiment proof of concept and all right, so there's those, again, striation marks, they match the saw marks as well, because whether it's a, a drill going in circles or a saw going straight in marble as well, again, they match, like, for instance, the Elgin marbles, where they were cut away, those tools there. And you can see where it's starting to, well, flare out. And so we're starting to hollow out the tool. Now, uh, this is where I just, I got deep enough. Okay, let's go back a second. So, um... I just like now I just want to see the what the profile is from the side now from the top I can see it so again I just sort of broke out that piece I took out the core you can see how the core is very heavily flared that's not the because removing the core okay there's a lot of easy ways to do that even from a flared vase I'll get into that but it was more to show the profile of the interior how to hollow out a vase as you're drilling down so rather than drilling straight down with essentially vertical lines how to create an inside fix so, okay there's the core the core's not important okay there we see the interior and it has a reverse taper okay so uh other videos experience drilling again one of these impossible lost high technology signatures was the tapering well, the, the core is tapered in a certain direction and reflecting that the, the, wall, the, the wall of the core is tapered in the opposite. Um, and so that makes sense. But what I have here is I've reversed the taper and I've started hollowing out the vase. Again, just to reiterate, proof of concept, this was the first one small experiment uh, to do so. What the core wall should, like, should look like is a taper like that. That would happen if I just used a straight drill. Okay, but what I have is a reverse taper, and there you can see, again, proof of concept, learning from, you know, I, like, oh, well, it's not perfectly straight away. Well, this is the first time I've done it. Uh, this, again, is in marble. Marble takes about three times longer to drill than what does granite. So, again, I'll do this in granite um, eventually. Uh, if you want to fund me, I'll do it even quicker. I'll start now if you want to fund, you know, but um, otherwise, you know, do it yourself in, in your time. So, there's the core. Now just by using that flared drill now the flare the, the thing is as you start to drill down by inserting that flare even if it's very small the weight of a drill it's of itself starts to flare those out even more and so as I drill down so just to insert the core underneath now at that point there would be marble underneath it stone underneath it which is so the weights pushing down and because I've already flared them out slightly the weight is going to force them out and so it starts to match and uh, I'll show more because I've done more this is just a, a one that's been sitting on the shelf for a long time and so what happens is that you can start to hollow it out now learn from my mistakes I, when I do this again I've I did another experiment following this just to take it a little bit further and it works uh, but I learned from my mistakes and so there's ways to improve it and so that's one way, to, so as you're drilling down, you're hollowing out the vase. It's not just a straight hole and then insert a grinder and then slowly uh, work it out. You can save a whole lot of time. So the argument is that, well, it takes too long. Well, maybe think 
uh, well, is there a way to improve it? And that scientist against myth uh, experiment, again, she's, lim she's handicapped herself with the most primitive of primitive technologies. She doesn't even use copper in her diorite vase experiment. She uses bone and only one type of drill. And so that's one way. And I even noticed as I was drilling, um, the flare, as it got pushed out, sort of made it difficult to pull, pull it out. So again, this adjust works. And I will return to this in granite. I've just done a few proof of concepts in marble because it, again, it's about three to four times faster to drill in marble than it is to granite. Marble is considered a cold stone or a hard stone. And so I've got a reverse taper and this would be uh, one way again to drill and hollow out at the same time. So at the very least you would reduce the number of the, the amount of energy you need to put into hollowing it out further. And from this, from this, you learn from your mistakes more than you do from your success. I know how to improve this. So I've got another follow-up um, in regards to this because the same would apply to the outside of the drill. And so the principle is, uh, let's skip forward a little bit, T tubes within tubes. And so, yeah, similar to that. And so uh, we can go forward. Okay. Um, large tubes so if you can now you have to imagine it. the top the curve at the top of the vase or the vessel will be reflected again short so tubes within tubes so instead of drilling one hole then another i drill all these at the same time and i also do most of the work for creating the curve on the outside of the vase and the more tubes you add the better it is And here I'm drilling with a four inch tube. So if you can start to see the lines that are formed. I'll cover this one in a little bit more detail, yeah, but uh, four inch tube. And uh, this sort of, yeah, works as well. Again, learn from my uh, mistakes. I'll do cover this more, but how do you, yeah, so uh, for those, you know, I, I, I noticed some comments in there. Um, where is this, you know, vase? Well, okay, I've started. Now, maybe notice the flared vet parts there on the inside. That tube, so, oh, well, that's a single piece copper tube. Well, notice the split in this one. This is actually a, a sheet of copper that I, I created my own, just with a sheet of copper. So each of these tubes could have been created with a sheet of copper, shaped very easily. And uh, so this will be upcoming projects. Um, now that the event is over and the lockdowns and um, curfews, I, I've got I've sourced the copper. It's, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, getting a few days where I can sit down and do you know and and focus on it. Now that I've done these uh, preliminary experiments, proof of concepts. So to uh, Mr. Ahmed, where, where is your vase? Well, you know, <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, you know, here I'll do this in my own time if. Maybe if the lost ancient high technologists uh, would firstly address the old ones rather, you know, so it's, we did these experiments, they pretend they're not there, and they will show me these other ones. Well, okay, I'll do them in my own time because I don't, you know, I don't think you're genuine. And so, you know, I'm not going to prioritize, you know, if you demand labor and then not cover it. Well, you know, why should I, you know, bend to your whims when you don't have the balls to acknowledge that that has been done before you just shift the goalpost but for those who are genuinely interested and been following um, Olga at Scientists Against Myth and Nervas experiments it takes too long well maybe you should contribute and think about ways to improve it you know like it's easy to sit on the in the stands and yell at the team that you know they're not doing well enough but you know the, life is not a spectator sport and for those who you know if you're genuinely interested Get your asses in gear and actually, you know, do some labour. You can do experiments not just to prove the success of primitive techniques. You could also do experiments to prove that the primitive techniques don't work. If for you naysayers go, well, the striations don't match, you can do an experiment with copper and abrasive and do it, show it, film it, and, and show us the evidence that the striations don't match because... You know, experimentation is not just about proving a hypothesis it's also about proving that it is incorrect as well as it is about proving correct so 
uh, I, I just dismiss those uh, type of people because if you haven't done anything and if you, you sit on the stands and scream, you've got no right, you know, do something. Get off your ass, do something. And um, if you're not willing to do something, then, you know, who are you? You're nobody, you're a palooka. You don't care, stop pretending to care. So, yeah, let's, uh, you know, get the information forward and drive knowledge forward. And again, if you actually care about this, uh, in any sense, one way, you know, if, if you're going to argue, well, it must be lost ancient high technology, well, if you're going to censor and ignore and, and not even view the experiments, you don't have a, you don't have a, you go back to the kiddies table, you don't have a position in here. No one's going to take you seriously. And again, to, you know, and then when experiments are done to censor them, not show them, and then say, well, I demand more, well, you know, screw you, you know, you, who are you, you're, a, you're a nobody, you know what I mean? Go, you're a lazy ass, you don't care, and you just want to make money by selling nonsense to gullible people and taking their money. This is why I call them lazy ass incompetent, or at the very worst, frauds. So uh, soon in the future, I'll be returning to these um, experiments, you know, like, unless you want to fund me to do them now, you want to pay for my costs and all of that, well, I'll do them straight away. If you're not going to participate, if you're not going to put any energy and you make profits on one side, but uh, you don't want to, you know, Brian Inside, Uncharted X, Brian Foster, all of you, if you don't want to contribute to any of this, then you don't have a position to argue from. Simple. Either you'd be, you know, sit at the kiddie table and go, nah, 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 or, or join in and do something. You know, if you're going to point at stones, I'm, I, I don't care what you say, your point is irrelevant. If you're going to touch stones, then you can come to the grown-ups table. So uh, one experiment, proof of concept, I did a further one to take a little bit further. I'll put that up next, but uh, hollowing out vases works in marble and I'll follow through with that and then I'll get some granite and I'll do with that and, and I know I will succeed. Because I've put the work in and I've done it and I know it and I'm going to mock you merciless, mercilessly, absolutely mercilessly when this comes through because you're not going to cover it and, uh, and all of your books and your tours and everything you've said before will be null and void and you'll look like fools for your laziness, uh, your lack of any, even just sort of basic rec uh, research and your complete lack of experimentation. So more of a heads up than anything for those who are interested. Yeah, this works. And uh, you can try it yourself, have a go. Um, I've learnt from, again, the mistakes are more important than the success, but proof of concept is there. And uh, we're not going away. We're gonna, <laughs> you're, you're done, mate. You're, you're gonna be absolutely uh, demolished after this. And all, you, all you'll have left is your view count and your popularity. And well, if that's all that you've got, then you're, you know, that's like uh, Justin Bieber versus Mozart. You know, he's very popular. Katy Perry is very popular. And um, but the quality is what uh, counts and what you can show. And so, yeah, vases to come, inside corners to come, uh, Serapium precision to come. I don't mince my words. I say it straight, and what I'm going to do is that I've already done it, got proof of concept, and it's going to come, and you're going to have to answer for this, lost ancient high technologists. And it's, uh, yeah, you deserve to be mocked and to expose as the cons that you are. That's it. I've laid down the gauntlet. I don't mean, yeah, what I say I'm going to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to succeed in. So good luck to you, mate. Good luck. This is what's uh, the debunking videos are one thing. Now the demonstrations will come, and you'll have to answer for them, or of course delete, block, censor, as is your business practice.